are here this afternoon for Art Center Live with two of my very dear friends um, who I'm excited to introduce you to and to learn a little bit about their art gallery and a very special event that's going to be held there. I want to introduce you to artist Melinda Trick. Hi, Melinda. And her husband, Clark Shaw. Hi, Clark. Thank you for joining me this afternoon. Loving it. Are you? That's good. So, Melinda, I know um, your gallery is over in the old, what's considered old Marco, and maybe you can tell people exactly how they get there. What have you been up to in your gallery recently during all of these fun times that we're having? Actually, because we're very centralized in our little cubicles, we've been open to the whole scene. Because Excellent. we're in there working in the hope of the future, that we can have enough art and everything opens up like a flower. And Does it appear that we're having some technical difficulties? I think and, uh, that we are. Um, we're going to just hold for a minute. Suppose we did that, and we're excited. Well, that sounds. Okay, that sounds. Can we can hear you now. Um, I'm glad to know that you're working. I know that you're a very prolific artist, and that. Um, your work is really quite remarkable, and I encourage everybody out there, if they haven't been to the gallery, to make your way down to the Melinda Trick Gallery. Melinda, how do they get to your gallery? Where exactly, if you were giving somebody directions, how would they get there? Fascinating question because we still find people that have lived on the island for years and don't know where we are. We have the oldest shopping center on Marco Island, and uh, you go fall people north, down to where Snook is, but then you turn left, and hidden in the trees is the oldest shopping center you know, on Marco, and the oldest, I think the oldest building on Marco, and uh, it's on, you find it at the uh, Cafe de Marco entrance, and there's plenty of parking, and you have a hotel there, and the shopping center has a full bar show, showing up next week called Boardwalk. We have Smith House. We have Levy Fish. You can always Google them. It will give you direction. And now we have a full bakery coming. Wow. A lot has been going on down there since I was last down there. I'm going to have to make my way down there in the next week or two. Um, Just don't forget that we're on the second floor. <laughs> I won't forget. Oh, that's right. We want to make sure people know about that. And it is both your gallery at one end, but there is also at the farthest end another gallery, which I believe is called Local Color. Can you tell us a little bit about that gallery? We are all associated. We are all one. Plus, we've got Larry, the hook green guy, on the second floor. Thus, the entire upstairs is art. That is wonderful. That is really local, wonderful. Local Color has five artists in it, and I'm all by myself, and I need a lot of room. <laughs> yes, you do. Yes, you do. Well, you have a lot of art, and as I said, I know that you are working constantly, um, and that you there's a real scope and breadth to the work that you do. So I strongly encourage everybody. Now, what are your hours of operation, Melinda? When if somebody's going to come down and visit you, when can, when are you going to be open? When can they come and see you, or do they make an appointment? Basically, ten to four. But being as I have no one to help me, if I have to run errands in the morning, I always make sure they're in the morning, so I'm late. But Betty's there for me, and she can open the door. And, and that would be Betty Newman, who is also an artist, and she, her studio is, is next to yours. Is that correct? That is correct. Excellent. We also have Judy Newman, Sandra Eason, and two jewelers. Uh, 
Mindy Kowalski, which I have a problem saying, and then uh, uh, Bonnie Hawk, who did the fountain of the water tower on the way to Goodwood. Oh. And then she refurbished it. We have great, great known artists in uh, their gorgeous, but every one of them, beautiful personality. Well, Melinda, I want to move on to talk about an event that you're going to have. Now, those of us uh, here on Marco who were familiar with the art scene would have known that before, um, well, I don't know, up until March of 2020 and before, second Tuesday of each month, Marco Island Center for the Arts was the place to be with wonderful art receptions where you could meet the artists whose work was being exhibited. We had a wine sponsorship with uh, Total Wine and more, so lovely wines were provided. We had partnerships with area restaurants, so there were nice hors d'oeuvres for us. And the first Friday of the month, the place to be was at the Melinda Trick Gallery and Betty Newman's and Local Color because that was the night you guys were doing a reception for your artists. And I know that um, it was a real treat because you are a gourmet chef and a lot of what you provided were things that you made for the menu. Um, what, again, I have fun with you. Oh, and yours were very geared towards the holidays, so they really were fun, and it was great to be able to go in and see everybody. I know it's it's been hard with us not seeing everybody, so it's my understanding that while you haven't had one um, so far this year, that you are going to do an art reception on Friday, February, starting at 5 p.m. Is that correct? It is correct. And uh, we uh, we want everybody to wear their mask, of course. They're, and we've opened both galleries up so that everybody can keep a distance while they're eating. Okay. But you know, we're trying to make sure that everything is focused steady. That's great. And as you said, it does. The galleries do face out onto what is almost a deck and somebody could grab something to eat, go outside if it made them more comfortable, and then put their mask on and come back in and enjoy the art and be able to socialize safely with the people who are there. Is that correct? That is correct, and the wine auction will be down at my gallery. Okay. So the food, you're, you're going to be serving, um, there's going to be food served down at the local color gallery, food and wine there. And I was about to say, you jumped ahead because I don't know if they can see this here. This is um, our flyer for the reception and also a very special wine auction. And the reason we're very excited about it is the wine is being donated by Mr. Clark Shaw, who is quite a collector. And you can come down, a silent auction, you're going to hear a little bit about these wines, and they are generously donating the proceeds of this silent auction to the Marco Island Center for the Arts. Now, Clark, let's talk a little bit about some of the wines that people can expect. Now, how long have you been collecting wines? We got interested in the wine collection because uh, Melinda was hired to go to Europe and paint wineries, particularly in France. So we both learned a lot about the wine, and I started collecting. And I like to collect unusual wines. I have wines, generally French and Italian, uh, but I have wines from Corsica. I have wines from the Medoc, uh, Margot, places like that. A lot of Italian Barolo, which is the uh, queen of Italian wine. All of these are pretty much unavailable in America. I wow. Grew from America, so uh, if you want an unusual, lovely taste of wine, this is the place to get it. It, it can be for a special occasion. I've got, uh, I guess my premier one is a French Magnum Champagne, which is a great big bottle, yeah, Garday. And I will tell you, it tastes just as good with any fine French champagne you ever want to touch. That is amazing. So the auction, we're, we're going to keep it small because this is our, our first go-round here. 
but they're going to be, I believe it's it's 20 wines that will be up for auction that night. And if you're coming to, to bid on the auction, you'll see me there. I'm going to be helping run that auction for, for everybody. Um, you've told us about the champagne. Can you tell us about maybe one or two other wines, Clark? Yeah, one of my favorites is made in the Judean Hills of Israel. And if you taste it, you think you're tasting an extremely expensive California Cabernet Sauvignon. But it, it's literally made by a mother, I mean, a, a father-daughter team in the Judean Hills of Israel. That's probably my most unusual. Well, that a lot of these uh, French ones, uh, it, it seems that there's a lot of father-daughter teamwork over there. The father's the, the daughter has the taste buds, apparently. The father has the manpower that will plow the field. <laughs> but women really do make the best vintner because they have better taste buds. I did not know that, but that is something interesting to learn. I, um, as I said, we all love good wines. I certainly know on Marco that is the case. So I hope that everybody, all of our Art Center friends and family, and those further afield who are watching us here today, remember that this is going to be February, Friday, February 12th from 5 to 7 p.m. at the Melinda Trick Gallery, along with Local Color and Betty Newman in the middle. And you go down Bald Eagle till you see the snook, take a, a left, and you're going to want to go into the parking lot. And this is going to be just go right up the stairs. You'll see us out there. Maybe, Melinda, we should put a few balloons out there so they can absolutely right. know that we're there. I'll bring a balloon. <laughs> <laughs> and if my friends out there want to know exactly what wines are going to be available, we'll be sending out some promotional information and they can contact us here at the Marco Island Center for the Arts and we'll have the ability in our promotional material you'll be able to hit a link. It's, the link is here already? We'll put the link in the description. Okay, we will get the link in the description so that you can download a PDF and see what wines are available. So do check that out. And again, this event is going to be very safe, very mindful that your health and well-being is of paramount importance. But wouldn't you like a chance to get out, see some beautiful art, and perhaps bid on some magnificent wine just for a little bit and then go back home? Clark and Melinda, I want to thank you both for joining me today. Um, I know that you're very busy, and um, I really, again, want to thank you both from the bottom of my heart for creating this amazing opportunity for the Marco Island Center for the Arts um, and the fact that this wine auction will benefit us. So for our friends and our members and our volunteers, come on down. We are all supporting the arts right now. It is very important. So. Come enjoy some of the other artists here on the island, and um, we will look forward to seeing you then. So, everybody, we'll be checking in with you again next week. As you may or may not know, it is our gala this weekend, the Fly Me to the Moon and Let Me Play Amongst the Arts. And we are all very busy here getting ready for that. But we look forward to seeing you next week because, as you know, whether you're here on the island whether you are somewhere far away but tuning in for us, you are part of our art family. And what? We want to be your art home. Goodbye, everybody.